Good morning. That ram is rubbing his butt on the bowl. <laughs> Maybe they need to need someone to wash their butt and apply some moisturizer or something. <coughs> anyway, we are on March 1st, the first day of March. March comes in like a lion, out like a lamb is what they say, right? Hey, um, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, don't be chewing on that. Let me get you an animal skin or something to chew on. Um, but yeah, the sheep have stayed within the wire. They didn't leave. And Greg Judy's tip on that with sheep and hot wires that as long as the the sheep are uh, well fed, there's plenty of forage. They won't leave. But once the forage gets a little light, then they'll start testing the fence and they'll start leaving. So that's my snowball just playing with the ducks there. Anyway, there should be plenty of forage here. And here not so much, but in the middle, there's a lot more. Um, lots of green things growing in the ground here. Not all of it's grass. It looks like moss, but it's not. It's just tiny little pieces of grass down there. But uh, in that uh, western part, the grass grew so well, the goat, we didn't stand a chance. So there's hardly any goat weed over there. And my, my plan this year is my goal is to grow enough grass that I don't get goat weed. Don't overgraze and things like that. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I do plan on eventually uh, timing the rams on the, the sheep. I want sheep to be born in April. I think that's the ideal time, April and May. When there's plenty of grass and the weather's warmer. So uh, that would require putting the sheep on and uh, the, the rams on in October, I think, and taking them off probably in December. I think if it's a six month cycle, I think it's a six month cycle. Gestation period is the formal word for that. Um, so that's my thoughts right now. Just this year they get to breed whenever they want. Uh, next year we're gonna try to time it. It is nice having all the calves come in at the same time. Um, it's kind of a surprise when calves come in at random times of the year. Hey, 18. Um, are you not eating enough? You're a little skinny. Your hollow's kind of filled in, though. You need more food. I do plan on putting hay out here for these guys soon. This row has plenty of grass, but the next row doesn't have as much. So the next row, I'm probably going to put out some hay. What is this ram doing? Are you just rubbing your butt? You got itchy butt? You just rub it on everything. <laughs> no, you guys just did. You're probably starting to shed. That's what it is. You're starting to shed. Today it's going to get up to about 68. The low's going to be 51. Right now it's about 44. Uh, tomorrow, 80s. Day after, 80s. Day after that, 70s. High 70s. Day after that, high 70s. And then we're looking at rain. So these guys need a good rub. So. <laughs> Well, go ahead and polish my side-by-side. -side. It needs a car wash anyway. So. All right, guys. That's all I got for you right now. Just curious dogs and itchy rams. Oh, look. at There's uh, poop cooked out his butt there. I'll have to nab these guys and take them to where I can get a hose and spray them down. Wash their butts off, maybe. Or just let nature run the course. <laughs> They probably got into dog food or something like that. All right, that's all they got for you guys. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.